In this exercise CAD house set out we're going to share the previous model for the lot and import a CAD drawing. So we'll create a new project. We select new. We're going to browse back up to the set out folder and select folder and we're just going to call this one CAD house set out. Select New. We will close down the Setup Project Details and the Recalc panel and maximize Plan View 1. So, the first thing we're going to do is share the model from the previous project that we had set up. So, if we select the option Models, Utilities, Sharing, Add, we then browse to the previous project so we go up to set out we select house set out we can double click on the project name select folder and you'll see a list of the models available to share so we're going to tick next to lot add finish if we go to our plus button now you'll see the model lot appears also it's in blue indicating that you're sharing it from another project so we'll just turn that on okay so let's read in the CAD file we select file data input DWG DXF DXB we don't need to worry about the import method if we select the file folder icon select browse and we browse back up to the setout folder and you'll see one there called house.dwg so double click on that file we're going to give a prefix of dwg space and we're going to set the null level value to zero so anything that was had a height of zero in CAD comes through as a null height select read and finish and you'll see in the data import view that it's brought in the the uh, CAD architecturals for the house okay we're going to close down the data import view and we're going to rename view survey to view 2 so we select view rename and we select survey and the view name will be 2 so we select rename finish okay so we're going to put view 1 and view 2 tile together so in plan view 1 select the controls button and select left half if we go down and click on the view 2 icon and again we'll go to the controls option and then select right half this time now in plan view 2 if we go to our plus button we can turn on all the DWG models so what we've got to do is basically relocate this house to be in the same position that we had the previous one, 7 metres and 1.8 from this corner. This side should be parallel to this boundary and more importantly it's in plan millimetres and we need to get it in terms of metres. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is scale the house. If we were to press F2 and we were to click on the bottom line here Right down the bottom you see the length is 20523, so 20,523 units, which in this case is metres. So we need to scale that down, so that was obviously designed for millimetres. So we're going to factor that down by 0 0.001. So firstly we select Utilities, A to G, Factor. We're going to factor view 2, so we select the view icon and then view 2. We're going to change the x and y factor to 0 0.001, 0 0.001, and we don't need to worry about the z factor. We also don't need to worry about the origin as the, the shift will be the last thing we do. We're going to factor the text and we're just going to replace the existing model, so we use the move to original model icon and select factor select the view fit icon in plan view 2 
and we inquire on the bottom line again, you will now see that it's 20.523. OK, so we, at least it's at the right scale now. The next step is to rotate the building. So we use the option Utilities, H to Z, Rotate. And we're going to again pick View 2. The rotation centre is not relevant again at this stage because we'll shift it later. And we're going to type in the rotation angle which will just be 90 minus that 12 degrees 18 10. So you could actually just go 90 minus 12.1810 and it will do the calculation for you. It's not going to be clockwise, so it's going to be anti-clockwise. And again, we're just going to replace the models there and select Rotate. Now again, using F2, we can pick on the left side here and you'll see the bearing is 12 degrees 18 10. And we'll click on this side and it's 12 degrees 18 10. So we know it's parallel now. So lastly, we're going to now move the house into position using the option Translate. So we use the option Utilities, H to Z, Translate. And we pick again View 2. And this time we pick the position icon to be able to pick the From and To position. So we're going to start off by picking the bottom left corner of the house. Now when it's going to pick the next one, again we're going to use our snaps. So we go to our CAD snaps offset and we pick the side the same way as we did in the previous exercise. So pick, accept. We're starting from the bottom corner. It's 7 metres along the string and 1.8 offset. Enter. And these values should be what you're seeing. We replace the data and translate. OK, now we can actually turn the models on in Plan View 1. So, obviously we don't usually set out all the, in the internal walls, so we're just going to create a string around the extents of the building to set out. So in this one here, we're just going to go up to our CAD control bar and type in house for the name house for the model. We're going to pick a colour green and we're just going to give it a thickness of say 3 so it stands out a bit. Okay now the option we're going to use is CAD string or we can use another option um, so we can use CAD string or we can also use the option polygon freehand. So let's use this one. So we're going to go down the bottom left corner and accept. And what we're doing is we're just picking the corners as we go around. Now the advantage of this one over the, um, the, the lines is that this one will create a polygon straight away. So you can see it's stretching to the points that we're selecting. Pick and accept and then press escape. The other alternative was to use the option line string and you would have traced it exactly the same way until there and then you would have just closed the string. So this is now ready to create point numbers and to upload in the same manner that was done in the previous exercise.